rescues two children. Gabriel was a teenager who liked to spend his free time by the riverside. He knew how to swim very well, but he also knew that one must always be careful while swimming. One day, he and his friends were playing near the river. It is so hot. Let us go swimming, said a friend. No, replied Gabriel. This is not the right time for swimming. There are black clouds upstream, which means the river might suddenly swell up with rainwater. Suddenly, they heard the roar of water and saw water gushing rapidly into the river. To their horror, they saw that two children had been swept into the river by the sudden onslaught of water. Gabriel did not pause to think. He jumped into the river and swam towards the children. It was very difficult to swim against the ferocious river, but he was able to rescue them. Irina speaks up for an autistic man. Irina was a secretarial assistant in Moscow. Every day, she would take the metro to reach her office. One day, she was running a little late and missed her train. While she was waiting on the platform, she saw a group of rowdy teenagers in a corner who were creating a ruckus. At first, Irina ignored them, but then she heard some whimpering sounds coming from the group. She went to see what was happening. She was horrified to see that the boys were teasing an autistic man. They had taken his bag and were not returning it. The man needed his bag as it had his money and other documents. Many people were looking at the teenagers with disgust, but they were afraid to speak up since they could see the group had guns. However, Irina did not feel scared. She forced the teenagers to stop teasing the man and return his bag. Cheng saves a panda. Cheng was a student of zoology. It was his dream to work in the panda reserve. He liked to spend his free time observing pandas in the natural habitat. One day, when he was in the jungle, he heard a panda's cry for help. He moved slowly in that direction. A short distance away, he saw the panda. It was choking on something and was unable to make any noise now. Cheng knew that the panda might die if he went to seek others' help. However, if he went too close, the panda could attack and injure him. But there was no other option. By then, the panda was nearly unconscious. Cheng quickly opened its mouth. He saw that the panda was choking on a plastic wrapper that some tourist had carelessly thrown away. Cheng removed the wrapper with the help of forceps and managed to save the panda's life. Jumki fights for ecology. Jumki was a young girl who lived alone with her mother in their village in the Pichakyo Western Ghats. Her father and brothers 
used to work in the city while Jhumki and her mother farmed the small piece of land. One day, some men came from the city and told them that they would have to vacate their land. They said that they had bought the entire village as it was situated over a very large deposit of some mineral. Chumki was aghast that the men intended to uproot the entire village and destroy the forest to dig up the minerals. At first, the villagers were dispirited. But when they heard Chumki's fervent speech, they decided to fight for the land. They formed a human chain as a mark of protest. They refused to leave the land and declared the sale illegal. Since none of the villagers had received any money or agreed to the sale of their ancient land. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.